This is the Queen Elizabeth Tea Rose. It's a beautiful rose. I love it. This is the Don Juan. It's right next to the Queen Elizabeth Tea Rose. It bloomed a little early than the rest, so it's kind of losing its splendor, but it's a beautiful rose. This is one of our blaze roses. It's a very popular rose and very common rose, but not common in the sense that it's a good producer and it never hardly has any bugs. I've not seen any on it. And it's just healthy and blooms a lot. I love this blaze. There's purple shamrock plant. Um, she called it a magic plant. We divided it into two. And uh, John's been religiously looking after it for me. And there's the other one. Don Juan. Compassion. It's not quite opened up yet. And it opens up into a large flower and smells wonderful. I love it. Passion. This is the Abraham Darby. Um, I transplanted it from the north fence this year. And it's doing pretty good. Abraham Darby. The Golden Jubilee. My sister Pat um, bought this for me last year for my birthday. And it starts off like this and uh, gradually uh, comes to this. And it's a beautiful flower. I love it. Smells good too. This is a pink knockout. I guess they're pretty popular right now. You've probably seen one. Pink knockout. This is a Princess Alexandria Kent. Uh, my sister Pat bought this one for me also last year for my birthday. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's grown quite a bit. It was a small plant, but um, it's a good bloomer. And uh, seems to be relatively de disease resistant. As you can see, they're beautiful. of our Eden uh, roses. Oh, we have three now and uh, got this one a couple years ago and it's doing pretty good. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. Of course I love them all. That's the Eden rose. This is another one of our blaze plants. Uh, um, I can't say enough about Blaze because it's always so healthy and it's a good bloomer. Climbing America, I planted in 2012. Um, we got a couple more, but this this is a very, from what I understand, a very rapid grower and has lots of blooms. Climb in America. This is our Gertrude Jekyll. Um, it was planted um, last August. And it's doing pretty good. That was August of 2012. I love it too. It's wonderful. 
and it's an absolutely wonderful bloomer. Gertrude Jekyll. This was supposed to be a, a climbing new dawn, but I can tell already it isn't, so we'll have to wait till it pops out to figure out what it is. This is a note just for my own information I'm fixing to, at this moment, um, start taking another photo and uh, continue taking a photo and a, a small video of these plants on this side. This is a double delight. Um, a very, very beautiful rose. This is a Mary Rose bush. I, I love Mary Rose. It's just so pretty. And it uh, usually blooms like a little week and a half later than the others. Which is great because I like to have some that bloom a little later. Mary Rose. This is the princess, I mean, excuse me, the um, Brother Cadfield Rose. This is Brother Cadfield. Um, my sister gave me the money to purchase this last year, gift card. So this is what I did, and it's beautiful. It's, a, it, it's very prolific, and I love it.
this is the peace rose and it's absolutely gorgeous I don't think anybody's ever found any problem with it it's um, just outstanding that's the pink piece pink piece This is the Oklahoma Rose, uh, one of several that we have. Uh, it rained last night and I haven't staked these, but um, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And there's a new bud right there. Um, Oklahoma is an excellent rose. Myself, um, I'm just uh, the next uh, slide will be an individual rose and then a movie of it continuing my um, notes. This is done nearly a while, we've had it for many years, and uh. It's
is the Chicago piece and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a climbing piece. America is just kind of fit in here between the nearly wild and a Chicago piece. It probably needs to be moved, but it, this is a very prolific and beautiful rose. And also a sturdy. <laughs> you got me for now, Rose, because I don't remember the name of it. But I'm going to look it up. And it's uh, right next to, <clears throat> right in front of it, the climbing piece. A couple of Don Juans planted together right next to the Chicago piece. Don Juan is just a beautiful red velvety looking rose. It's a not a bright but a medium red. It's not as dark as the Oklahoma rose but it's a beautiful color and I don't think anybody can argue with the Don Juan. It grows a lot. It's beautiful. This is a climbing blaze. It's not the new new blaze. It's the old one, and I I really like it. Okay. Like I said, you can't argue with the blaze. It has it's almost disease resistant. And it's beautiful rose. the Tasmanian sunset and it, after the bud it starts off like this and then you get something like this and then you get something like this so it's a beautiful rose I enjoy a lot Note to myself, I'm continuing on with the rose identification. I'll begin with these two Don Juans right here next to the irises. The Don Juans that were transplanted and they're in the shade of this tree, so they're not, <clears throat> they're fairly new, so not doing as well as the others, but Don Juans are beautiful and this one I'm sure will perk up. I'm not worried about it a bit. kind of got a late start. I'm pretty sure that it's a climbing uh, new dawn so it hasn't uh, produced anything quite yet. It was just a stick a couple weeks ago. The tag on this one says climbing new dawn but I know that it isn't. Um, I think it might be the social climber but I'll have to find out. The climbing new dawn. I started from a baby, so from a cutting, so it's just hadn't had time to catch up yet, but it will. I'm just taking this as this section here. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, section six. It consists of uh, two climbing Americas and three Don Juans at the moment. Um, and we've already uh, established what they look like and everything, so we'll just have to do it like this. Somebody's mowing. <laughs>
to myself, I stopped at this Therese Bugnat with my identification of roses because uh, somebody's mowing and uh, I'd rather be able to hear myself. I'll continue this tomorrow.